Okay, today I'm going to be teaching you how to put Game Boy games on your phone. The current phone that I'm using is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play, but it doesn't really matter because you can do this for all Android phones, which is what I like about them. They can take emulators. Okay, the emulator that I'm going to show you how to get is the Game Boy emulator. And as you can see, I have some games up here already. Super Mario Brothers, Metroid Fusion, Namco Museum, and Pokemon. And I know what you're thinking, you probably want me to press that, so I'm going to go ahead. And let's we'll see what happens. And yes, if you do have this phone, you can also program the controls into it. If you didn't hear me, what I said was, if you do have this phone, you can program the controls into it. So, the start button on the Xperia is right here, so I'm going to go ahead and... But if you don't have, like, a joystick or anything attached to your phone, it also has virtual controllers on there. So, let me put those back on. Yeah. Virtual keypad at the end... There you go. Works pretty much the same. I mean, it's easier to use this for a game like Pokemon, but personally, I don't really care for the virtual keypad, so I'm kind of happy that I have the actual physical keypad of the Xperia Play. Alright, down to business. Now to get the Game Boy emulator. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put a link down in the description below to get the emulator, and it's going to be a mega upload. So we're going to go ahead and start to look for it. Okay, one thing you want to download to get this emulator is the... Linda File Manager which is free on the app market and basically you just take your USB connect it to your computer open it up if you have a memory card put it on to the memory card label the folder go back for the folder with the Linda ma uh, the Linda file manager look for it and it's right here you're going to hit install the application, but I've already installed the application. So what you want to do is install that application. It's going to turn on. But another thing that you want that it's going to ask for are the BIOS, which I'm also going to put down in link as a link in the description below. And when you start this up, it's going to ask for the BIOS. Put the BIOS and the emulator in the same folder so you can find it easier. And when you're actually getting the ROMs, which you want to know where I got Pokemon and Mario and whatnot from and that's easy I got them from coolrom.com and basically once you get the ROMs from coolrom you just download them like you do any normal file with your phone or you're just your memory card connected then you would place that in the folder you want. I placed it in a folder that I named emulate, emulate Games. And you just click the folder and it will only open up the games that are specifically made for the Game Boy Advance. So you can put different games into that folder like from Nintendo 64 or whatnot. But I will show you how to do that in the next video and what emulator you need to make it easier for you to get. And Currently, like, none of the games have crashed on me, unlike that, um, super lame Tiger emulator that, it sucked. And the, um, Mojo Game Boy emulator that was free sucked too. 
I, I just like the Game Boy emulator. It's way better, clearly. And once again, you, you could use this on any Android phone. I put it on my friend's Droid Pro, and it seems to be working pretty good. But personally, I like it on the Xperia Play because you can program these controllers right here to play the game itself, which is pretty cool. It's not that I don't like the games on here already, it's just I, I like a better selection. And what's better than having pretty much every game made from the Nintendo, Nintendo Game Boy Advance? So, yeah. Alright, so yeah, basically you're just going to follow the instructions like I said, and I'm going to repeat those once again. So you're going to get Linda File Manager, after that you're going to get the, uh, the Game Boy emulator and the Game Boy BIOS files, which I'm going to put in the link in the description below. Take those, hook your phone up to your computer or your memory card to the computer, make a folder specifically for those for the emulator and the bios uh, quick name would be like um the emulators put them in there okay put the uh memory card back into your phone or if it's or if you plugged your phone up to your computer open up linda file manager go into your sd card look for it then hit install then it's going to install, it's going to take a few seconds, it's going to be done after that, and it's going to ask for your BIOS, and let me just show you just to prove that I put the BIOS on here, and this isn't fake or anything, and trust me, this isn't really difficult, it's really easy, simple, here we go. And you see them, Game Boy and GBA BIOS, which I'm still going to put in the link in the description below. And you probably see the N64 Void, which is another emulator that I'm also going to show you how to set up. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and have fun with your new emulator. And once again, you can go to CoolROMs.com to get your emulator, your well, not your emulators, your ROMs that you want. And it also has emulators that you can install on your computer. So basically, I just helped you do two things. Alright. Cool ROM again. Game selections that they have. And you can already see the A, B, C. So it's pretty much any Game Boy game with those letters. And you can already see how many people have downloaded